Alright, what's up everybody? My name is Sen, welcome back to the channel, and for today's video, I wanted to talk about salt. Now, this is actually kind of funny because I wanted to talk about this for a while, but I didn't think it would be my own that I was going to talk about. Give me that. Give me that fucking round, you fucking pussy-ass smurf bitch. Actually, I don't know if this kills. No way. So very recently on the channel, I released a Tekken 8 video where I'm gonna say for simpler terms, I got smurfed on essentially. It was a Jin player with perfect electrics, wave dashing, Korean back dashing, 30 win streak, all that. That sounds essentially like a smurf. Now it might not necessarily be a smurf. I doubt someone would go as far as to like buy a new copy of the game from PC to PlayStation just to smurf and beat up on noobs, but it might have just as well as been someone on a different account or also potentially someone that is a longtime Tekken 7 player that recently got the game. Now I've been playing a little bit of Jin on the side, but one, I suck at the game and two, I literally just started learning Jin. I'm not a Tekken player. I don't have that Tekken background. Tekken 8 is really the first Tekken game that I'm really sitting with and spending a lot of time. I did play some of 7. I played a little bit of the older ones as well, but I never really sunk a ton of time into those games. I would like to do that with this one though. Now definitely when I was playing against the Jin, I was getting slightly salty. I was talking my shit when not a little bit for because it was for real there was legitimate salt there but also part two it's because it's a video like the goal of videos to hopefully entertain you guys and maybe in some way or some form my salt potentially entertain you guys i'm not like a salty youtuber i don't like rage or anything all the time but also on top of that i think it's important at times to show bits of salt and frustration because it humanizes you in a way. If I just went out of my way just to show you guys my rank ups, so like all the games where I do well, where I don't show any of my defeats or any of my being salty, a lot of people might think you're fake for that. So uh, trying to avoid that for one, does it really matter? No, do you guys even care? Probably not either. But I figured I wanted to talk about this because there's a lot of new people getting into fighting games that it's gonna be a case of where you do run into salt, you do get frustrated. It's okay to be salty, it's what you do after the salt. So if all you're doing is just complaining about how the game is or how you should have won or whatever, then the situation flips around. Then you become the bitch because you're not actually doing anything to solve your problems. Tekken as well as just about every other fighting game, like stuff has direct answers. And fortunately enough, someone was nice enough to comment on the video giving me advice based around what I was doing wrong, which is very nice. It's super helpful into like me growing as a player. The biggest thing about fighting games lately is that I've been playing a ton by feel. I've not been getting super nerdy on the games like how I would like to because I haven't run into a lot of roadblocks where it caused me to actually think about the game deeper than I need to. But this is about a perfect time as any. So the person in question, I don't know how to say your name. It, Giuliano, I assume. Jin in the first game kept hitting you with electrics because you weren't sidestepping, ducking, or most importantly for Asuka, parrying it. So what that tells me is that a electric is a high attack. So yes, I absolutely can duck it. That's part of the remedy. Um, and they're also saying sidestep. Um, I think if I remember correctly, sidestepping to the right or was that the left with Mishima's is very... So uh, that's something to keep in mind as well. You're right, I was absolutely playing super linear. Uh, I had partaken in some marijuana products, so I definitely wasn't playing at my full capacity. I would have gotten destroyed absolutely either way, but uh, yeah, that definitely didn't help my movement situation. That's for damn sure. More of this, more of dash up stop stuff like that need to do more of that that's something i can instantly incorporate into my game that's huge but also they were talking about oscar's parry which i actually don't know what her parry is um i haven't spent that much time on the character i've just been looking at like basic good normal stuff like launchers strings basic combos stuff like that i really have not tapped into the deepest depths of this character at all like there's things that i know that are okay about the character but I'm a noob, man. I really need to put some more time into this game, and I'm definitely looking forward to it. So let's uh, let's find the parry in question, because they were really stressing the parry. Okay, so back one plus three, or back two plus four. If I do back two plus four, does one of these only do lows, or? 
Okay, noted. In a way, it's it's not immediate progression. We have to start using it, but it's something I can immediately incorporate into my game as well. Also, Jin is plus if you block his electric. Watch out for that. Once again, more information we can add to our repertoire to make ourselves a little bit better of a player. Okay, so it's minus 10 regularly. Oh, same time, plus five. I don't know the timing for electrics, but the fact that it's plus five is interesting. What I need to figure out now, if anyone has this information, is when it's best to sidestep after, like, like, is it plus three? Is it plus five? Like, when's, when's a good rule of thumb? That's a question I have for you guys in the comments section, if you guys could help me out there, because uh, Tekken Scrub, man, I don't know shit about Tekken. I don't know good rules of thumb or anything like that. So if you guys have any stuff like that for me, please let me know. So with that said, what better to do than play some online? Fuck it. How do you feel the same? Oh, dude, now we get to test it in action too, maybe? Oh, let's go. It's like the heavens called upon this. Now we get to actually experiment if he has proper electrics. If he has them, though. Okay, big low. That's something I need to work on more. Oh, shit, my up to you. Yeah, I can tell we both fucking suck. Oh, I didn't do my combo either. Nice. Okay, we got the hit there. He hasn't even tried for an electric. Uh, good to know, though, is that if he does a bad electric, I get a 10 frame punish. So I know it didn't. Oh, I went for down 4, 3, plus 4. I didn't test it. Should have tested the sidestep. See, but now it's about... I'm recognizing the situation, and I want to try something. That's what's important. Nice. Got me at the launcher. Going for too many YOLO hopkicks. YOLO hopkick is not necessarily good. Okay, nice. The strings carry me. Uh, I had time. That's something I've been really bad about, is... Um, I went for forward forward one. Mm, I tried to break it. That was a one break. Give me that. <gasps> oh, the tips of the toesies. Let's go. Yeah, we're on our way to red rank, which all the more this is just kind of proving that it's really not that hard to get to red rank. Like, I've just been... Like, if you play your game plan, you can get to red rank. This is not making me feel any confidence. Like, I don't know shit for matchups or anything. Nice. Good block on the low. Okay, combo. Let's go. Okay, huge. Got the combo. Yeah. Demo man. Nice sidestep. Okay. Nice. Got him with the drive. Or not drive. Fuck. Going for hop kick there. Nice. Got me. He might sidestep my... Oh, I got you, bitch. This is gonna do a grip. This is definitely gonna do some fucking good shit right here. Okay, I'm gonna do down 4, 3, plus 4, because he won't... Oh, he went for 3, plus 4, get up! I didn't even think about that. That's on me. I went for the down 3, plus 4. He did down 2 there, I believe. Finish out the string. He blocked a little nice. I gotta start taking more uh, guaranteed damage and then trying to reset pressure after that. I think he's respecting my shit. Nice. I think that, once again, I think that's down two. Could be wrong. He's blocking the string. Okay, he recognizes. guy might have me figured out oh uh, we traded okay okay i think we can uh i think we can do this so we're three one they got me there I'm 
armor up here. No two break. Hello. There we go. Caught him on the duck. Let's go. I think we got this. Oh, that tracked. I'm here with the demo, man. I'm up here. I just sold this one. It's not over yet. Oh, Kami. Oh! I'm dead. Scale. No, nah, it's dead. Alright, he got me. 1-1. One, one. Hasn't poked out the uh, electric yet. Let's see if we can win the set here. I, I'm having some faith right now. I think I was on to something. Run it up, run it up. Oh, I'll go for the down two. Wait, no, that's actually what down two is, right? Go for the heat. A little bit of tracking there. Okay, nice. Demo man. Got him. Hopefully this kills. I'm hoping this kills. Please let scrub it out. Scrub it out. Scrub it out. Scrub it out. Let's go. Yes, sir. I'm still scrub. Let's go, baby. You thought I wasn't a masher? You wrong. Okay, hop kicks. Oh my god, reset me with the launcher. I don't know if that was intentional, but it definitely worked, so. Okay, nice. Counter hit, let's go. I'm not parrying, I need to parry. There we go. Immediately incorporate it. Let's go. It got me, nice. I still have armor, so we're not in a bad way. There's a combo, and we still have rage too. Plus. There's the string. Okay, I got the toes. Let's go. Finish the string. Okay. A little sidestep too. Okay, armor. Back the string. Armor up. Let's go. I'm just gonna pop it. Oh, I went for the hop kick there. Nice. Went for it again. Yeah, I need to see what that is. Okay, nice. Got the throw me. This is gonna be enough for rage. Hello. Got him. Fucking got him, baby. That should be dead. Hell yeah, bro. We fucking won this set. Let's go. We're not that far from red rank. I'm thinking red rank is pretty feasible. I'm thinking, as, as garbage as I am, I think red rank is feasible. I don't think there's much of a better way to end it than that. I mean, look guys, it's okay to be salty. I'm salty. I'm sure plenty of other people online are like salty all the time, but it's about what you do after the fact. If you decide to learn and better yourself from it, great, salt is a good thing. But if all you do is wallow in it and complain, let's just say you're gonna have a tough time. But yeah, that's going to do things. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more, check out the rest of the channel. In the description, those links are not just my channel, but my friends' channels as well. And big shout-outs again to Giuliano. I definitely appreciate the advice. It's really easy to just say get good, but it's super sweet when someone actually helps you on your way. So thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.